as a as a musicologist and check things right and I know this okay. Reggae music <coughs> originate in Jamaica headquarters, right? And reggae music, roots reggae music, it's coming out of St. Croix. Different energy, same thing, you know, respect to the el those predecessors and everything. But it's a different energy. Um, it's a frequency that St. Croix is bringing. And a lot of those artists from St. Croix, it's a movement, you know. And a lot of those artists in St. Croix um, were up here in the mainland and left here and went forward again to St. Croix to start this thing, to, to, to now have people in the industry going, wow. St. Croix, you know what I'm saying? And it's a whole bunch of artists, even ones we haven't heard about yet, you know, that still come in and just, and then the whole music industry, the item covering the whole industry, you're not just getting exploited on your art, you know, you got it, you've got control of the recording studios, you have control of the labels, you got Tippy, you know what I'm saying, Black Art, you know what I'm saying? Tell me, give me some feedback. The land them green, but the people minds them brown. All over. The youth them progression stagnant and going down. All over. Man all put together as one machine. All over. Where's the consideration for ya? Where's the overstanding with ya? Yes. The land green everywhere, <coughs> but people minds them brown. No opportunities. Right. Okay. You know, we're all coming from a, a place of I don't want to say suffering. You know, I mean that's an individual yes. thing. But overall, yes, stressful. Yes, but overall, as a as a nation, you know, home is you know there's, there's no opportunities for the youth there. No opportunities for man my age, and so unless you're working. In. So the current and the frequency that you know, coming out of uh, we place, we islands, you know, is definitely a, a spiritual chant. You know, I don't want to say not to embarrass my mother. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Straight. Right. And if you have that that kind of mentality and principle, I don't want to say not to embarrass my mother. I mean, even though she could look at me sometimes as oh gosh, why? I mean, you can't pull up your beard or something. Oh, right. Man, why you? Yeah. I don't want to say not to embarrass my grandmother. Right. I don't want to say not to embarrass my auntie. None of them. Right. Because I have an answer for it. Yeah. Kindred. Did you? Mm -hmm. I have an answer for it. So, do right. Do good. Learn that fast. Ready, set, no. <laughs> yeah, ready, set, no. The musicians on the St. Croix, I mean, it's just a natural vibe, right? That man don't like go to music, all that music school and all that. It's just a vibe. I mean, man, like bass player like Kenyatta and that man, and the, that's in, it's, that's a crew, right? That's a crew. That man just work together like that. You got different people you can just pull from. Well, you know. From the heavens, uh -huh. you know, is, is way up here, so yeah. me had no demo, mm -hmm. he, had, he had no audition, right, <laughs> check it, yeah, T-Rock, he had no audition, right, man come and learn to play, uh -huh. learn to walk the music, you do the what, great, you do what, <laughs> great, you do what, great, let me do it, right. you say, and we we'll push through, you know, we move through the earth, you know, give thanks, you know, mercy and Yahweh, you know, able to be received by one. And, you know. Why the roots though? You could go so many places, is it, I mean like, you know, I know in Jamaica, the influence of R&B and all of that kind of stuff, and St. Croix is kind of, you know, connected to the U.S., so they have a lot of different stuff, but man just like, original they don't copy they just create just original and they just stay roots keep that tempo very slow and just is it for the, the i like to nod my head i like your music to nod my head <laughs> okay. 
I like the box, you know. I, I like heavy. Man, I listen to a lot of different types of music. I produce a lot of different types of music, but I like heavy, heavy roots. You know, I grew up on roots. You know, I grew up on Gregory Isaac, you know, um, Yellow Man. Even in the dance, uh, you know, Yellow Man was was roots to me. You know, um, King Kong. But it, roots make sense yes. in, in the spiritual, you know, mm -hmm. in the reality for me. Like I want, I want you to feel what I'm saying. Not, not that you can't feel through all the different forms, but um, roots for me dance art. At the time, I wasn't, you know, really into a lot of dance art. You know, I was even I was chanting, and so I like to chant. But my father sing a lot. myself to sing, you know, I call it singing, I might call it something else, but my little singing thing, you know, right. I like to stay with the roots as a foundation for me, and I think true jeopardy, it will, it will, you know, go yeah. How you feel like the development of the, of the music, uh, especially the music coming out of St. Croix, the roots record music, as it, as it, um, you know, relates to other music, like the other genres, like hip hop, jazz, R&B, things like that. Well, I know that reggae music, one drop hard music, strong in the world, I mean, every country. <laughs> if you travel in there, you know that strong. So, out of the children coming now, just hold on to things which were already in place. I've done it in nothing different. Things which were in place, but we just had to care to look. Yeah. Done nothing so special, really. Pay attention to the things which are there, you know. Visitable for anyone to see, so. I would say that the, the music coming out of the VI right now, the time was called the shots. The times. And Rastafari is very strong among the people as I really like. All I know is a work in progress. We all have self work to do. To better our way. For the most part I just give thanks to our prayers. You know, to see a whole thing burn. You know. Yeah. We watch the whole thing burn, like, you know what I mean? To see the whole thing free out, you know, it's yeah. all over the world. Right. Certain truths are surfacing, where it's difficult to comprehend and to digest, you know. It's what the whole world of evil is about today. You know, who's indigenous, who doesn't belong, who has prior rights and first rights and just cause. So this was our emperor cry. All they have been saying the same scripture, not by might, not by power, but by spirit. Can't win by spirit, you know. But the people voluntarily by their own hand. Check for a thing, you know. Win by spirit. Right. So, try to give them something that their heart can find and know for themselves. That's why Bob said, every man just beat a heart, you know. Yeah. a lot of uh, previous trains of thought, previous lyrics and things, and kind of, you know, mixing them in different ways and things like that. 
So obviously you're, you know, you're you're in touch with past trains of thought, yeah. and then you're also having new trains of thought as you're performing. So like, what's the ratio there? Is it like half and half, or or do you it's real time? You know, we're in real time. You know, life is adjustment. How quickly you adjust is your ratio of survival most time. Is it? So the lyrics always have a little bit of adjustment to the times. You know. <laughs> Like it may not be so necessary to bombard the people with a lot of abrasive information when uh, situations are tense already, maybe. <laughs> so you ride with the moment and you ride with the vibration, try to stay in a cohesive, good vibration. We know there's good and bad and ugly. You know, <laughs> you know there's biblical principle which compel man, you know. I don't try to use my mental to overpower what, what is that, the settings for everyone, you know. But I, man, for I, I can't seek favor too much. Because of many years, the kind of news I have to bring as sound and word, sometimes it's very sober thoughts, you know. So, it's like, you know, I can't hyper extend to seek favor because maybe what we just need to do is apprehend and comprehend facts for a minute. <laughs> so, you know, this is why the vibration is so, but the people are shocking, you know, because the people, they are the ones that are shocking more than the music, you know, to me, because the people are in touch with everything, you know, slight movement they understand, which is not even performance really. They're listening. I think the level of education in the crowd is peaking, you know. Exposures among the people themselves, you know. I think that's where it's coming from. <laughs> people now understand for themselves like what it takes as a human being just to be a one, you know. Just to be another one. So they see another one on the stage sometime, you know. <laughs> Just another one. <laughs> settings of the music which come forward first out of Jamaica these are not uh, ideological stances these are biblical prophecy which manifest from the islands in the sea shall await this cry no for surety 400 years your people shall be taken away but there are repetitive parallels and quantum physics is aware of that and nanotechnology is aware of that now if they never were. So, for I to even uh, approach that as um, to be crit criticizing what's happening, to me it would be saying too much already. 
because we know of polarity as just a function of all things living life yeah. polarity hot cold in out up down over under <laughs> you know what i mean yes. so you must have the contradistinction of a thing it must exist <laughs> So it's not so much of how to rid the earth of all evil upon a superman mission. Yeah. This is the situation, is to balance the polarities, to harmony. Like how the wind and the wave and the tree, everything is harmonious to us. Right now, because if it weren't, we'd be running for cover right now. So predominantly good rule the universe. Truthfully predominantly good the good and the evil are his like I tell a man an example already Abja you can't say I plan to rob the government and build a very nice bungalow down in Ecuador and elect me vote for me you can't say that you have to say that you're gonna do something good the good and the evil they both have to do the same thing <laughs> The good and the evil are his. Everything. You have to understand this. And then I just have a question about music from St. Croix. Would like if, if there could be some kind of um, <coughs> expression of like a, the change, like its originality, like the change it made in reggae music from the point that you guys came out. Is there like anything to say to that? Just the music of it. Like, is there more of a jazz influence than Jamaican reggae, or like...? I can't really uh, be who I am and still accentuate the differences there. Eh? The similarities are too much more, you know? And if you know the prophecy, what was said would happen, you know? It's, listen, this is the central core of all the new age. Everything. This mid-Atlantic ridge, and Christ consciousness coming from the Caribbean Sea and so forth. This is the living of it. You see? So it won't be just one island. You know, from the islands in the sea shall await my cry. So it's so it is. And our people fulfill what we is. We do what we do and there it is. You know? And for clarity and for fullness of clarity, you know. I was born in an island called Antigua, you know. And I come to St. Cry at about 10 years old, you know. For straightness of clarity and straight up fast, for whatever. This is the power of I, nothing can wiggle around I. I have the power in me. It's not even able to be an undercurrent, okay? Now look now, <laughs> I come to St. Croix and this music born of St. Croix. All this music born out of St. Croix. You see? No. <laughs> this is how I grew up among. As just one of the African diaspora spread abroad. Into the depths and I stand with them and this is how I stand today. So I may say shout out the same way to all the people of the Virgin Islands still in our struggle for life and for goodness and for a good quality of living we don't forget you, nothing you're going through remember sir, just for clarity yeah. <laughs> uh, I have another question for um, you have uh, you know, obviously biblical fluency, historical knowledge and this you know, scientific and empirical approach to a lot of your perspectives so, do you, would you say you believe in anything, or are you like just coming from a place of understanding and knowledge? Or, or do you believe in something, or should other people have a belief? I will tell you something like this, because I know I can make it clear for you, so... I don't see skepsis as a bad thing. The difficult question is never a bad thing. Only if you feel inadequate about answering it. Okay, that's when it becomes a bad thing. This is a good question. No, in the larger society, you can see from statistics what happens and what does not happen. What are the, the uh, incomes and the outcomes of jealousy, envy, malice, 
archetypal forms that keep showing up in something called human nature. The statistics on the news will make certain for you if you don't know if you should have a principle or not or be an anarchist. The statistics in the world should let you know what are your odds of survival in within your chosen place. And that will be your belief. <laughs> no. Do you feel it's important for people to have a belief? Or do you feel like it should come from more of a place of just, you know, seeing what's around you and... This is what I'm you saying to you, you know, realization of sequence and consequence is what it sh is what should make a one ascertain should I stand for this principle or not you, yeah, see, you weigh in the balances what do you think yeah. that nature creation and humankind will reward you for your stance and they will be your belief but look at this differently from belief there is knowledge now if we go away from creeds and religions of every kind, them all, archaeology and anthropology will end up in Ethiopia. Mm. <coughs> so yeah, it's irrelevant. It is irrelevant <laughs> from secularism to religion to creeds to ideology. It's irrelevant in all direction as the night is far from the day. As you know, evening when it gets dark, and in the morning again, it will be midnight. One second and it's morning. Dark to dark. That is how it is. So, there will be no dispute about what you would like to believe. There's just one set of ancestries. If you do not believe it, if you don't agree, if you don't know it, it becomes irrelevant because all body of discipline from religion to secularism like i told you to anthropology to astrology they will all have to go to ethiopia my <laughs> oh. this is what i'm saying to you it's irrelevant from any direction you see to all the asiatic nations they will also all of the nations we are the one people very real and these are the things today which are troubling because these are the deeper underlying reasons for poverty and strata and prestige and have and have not. These are the true reasons. <laughs> but there's just one set of ancestry in the whole world. All the world. Right now. <laughs> See. So I'm sure you're aware of some of the prophecy which talk about kings be to be reborn and so forth in the new age coming and its metaphysics and that. Well, the human beings are run by the heart, you know. Rastafari is the heart la. The humans are run by the pump, you know. Sure. <laughs> Rastafari and the heart la. So we won't probably necessarily need a membership drive now to sell too many now. <laughs> yeah, because the children come by themselves. Yes. And if they love Jah, we love them. <laughs>